Hey y'all, Irix Sky here, and I want to provide y'all with a quick tour of my new live streaming setup in the Irix Guys Adventure Channel Studio. So what you're looking at right here, and this is from my chroma key set, my little desk, and it's in front of the green wall. This is my ATEM software control. So what I've got here is a, uh, let's just call it a, a software version of what's over here. And by the way, it's it check my playlist out and you can find all my videos. I break all of this down in a lot of detail, how I set it up, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So this is the, uh, the hardware device. So the software that I have over there, I can do everything with it that I can with this. And then this is plugged into several different uh, video sources. So this cable right here that I temporarily suspend, and I'm going to find a neater way to do that. That plugs into my, macbook pro and what this plugs into is input number two so if i go to number two it's like a secondary monitor off of my macbook pro so sharing videos uh, sharing other content i can do with that input number one goes to my sony alpha which is right here and i'm not using the shotgun mic i'll for my live streams i'll plug in my my wireless mic so that's how that's hooked up this right here is not in use at the, at the moment. And then I've got the network connection. Network connection is what maintains the live stream. One of the cool things about this device is that it can connect to YouTube and maintain the live stream and do the chroma key all in this device. So it's, it's off of my computer, which is great. Uh, this other uh, cable right here is going to an Apple TV that I have uh, tucked away in the floor. And the Apple TV, if I want to stream a video, I can view it on here. Now, this is where it gets really cool. So, and this may seem a little bit complicated at first. This is called the multi-view. So what you see here in the top right, the program, that represents what you, the YouTube, view, YouTube viewers see when I go live. Over here is a preview. So if I sit down in the chair, I'll see myself. And we're gonna go through, check out my video playlist and you can see all my in-depth how to chroma key using ATEM Mini Pro and also a, a plethora of other tutorial videos. I'm learning all of this and I'm sharing my lessons learned with y'all in a format which is hopefully easy for y'all to understand. It's a really cool product. So in the multi-view, I can see all four cameras. Camera number one, again, that's my Sony Alpha camera, my primary camera. Camera number two, that's HDMI input number two. That's that cable running across the floor into my MacBook Pro. So think of camera number two as just a, an extended computer monitor, which in this situation, I'm playing a video full screen on loop, which you can see the video there. So it's using the second monitor of my MacBook Pro as the chroma key, the green screen backdrop. See, there's my chair. If I was sitting there, you would see me talking and I'd be in front of that video that I filmed on Pinnell Island uh, playing in the background. So it's like I'm sitting on an island. Uh, camera number three is currently not in use. The beauty of the A10 Mini Pro is that you have four HDMI inputs, which is super nice. Camera number four is, uh, it's, it's my Apple TV. So what I'll use the Apple TV for often is to stream a video clip. So if I wanna, like when I'm starting my live show, Epic Drone Show or Iron Skies Live Show, I'll do that with the with the Apple TV. The reason being it's just easier because see, I can already have, before my show begins, I can have my chroma key backdrop playing off of my laptop. So think of camera two as monitor number two on the computer. But think of Apple TV as a quick way for me to, okay, I'm gonna, play a video with Apple TV with audio, I'm gonna flip over completely to camera number four, and then before I go into the live show, I'm gonna cut into my chroma key, which obviously is a combination of camera one, which is me face on video in front of green screen, and then camera two, which is the full motion video green screen backdrop. Uh, ATEM Mini Pro also has, if you wanna use still images and not have a camera source for your chroma key backdrop, that's easy to do as well. Check out my tutorial for that. I mean, this is a somewhat advanced configuration that I'm using. And what I mentioned about still images, media player, that would be an example of that. So check out my video playlist for uh, ATEM Mini Pro. 
check out my how to use uh, still photos tab. You can use still photos for chroma key backdrops. You can use 1920 by 1080 size PNG images, you know, with transparent backgrounds. You can use those as lower thirds to give yourself that professional look while you're live. This right here is super nice. This out of the corner of my eye, I can look at it and I can say, okay, this is the bit rate megabits per second. Is it caching? If it starts caching, what that means is that you may have a cloud backup going. You may have some other sort of network congestion on your network and it can uh, cause the, uh, the, uh, the Blackmagic ATEM Mini Pro to temporarily cache. It can cache for a small amount of time, but once the cache runs out, that's when your viewers are gonna see degraded uh, stream performance. Fortunately, in my first test, and at the time of, excuse me, at the time of filming this, I've only performed one test with my ATEM Mini Pro because I didn't have all my lights and and everything neatly configured like I do now in my studio when you're watching this video, but it was rock solid. When I turned off my cloud, when I paused my cloud backup, it was it was super rock solid, man. And you can see here, this is really cool. And, and as you learn what's called, this is called the multi-view interface. And I highly recommend, this right here is just an affordable 4K smart TV. And I've got, when I put it in use, I've got a uh, an HDMI cable that runs over to my to my ATEM Mini Pro. So just a great way to look out of the corner of my eye, see everything that's going on. And, and you know, as I learn this, I'll teach you the ropes. But you can see since I'm keying, there's a red border around camera one and camera two. And that's important because that's saying, again, it's combining those two as indicated here, the program, the program being what the live viewers should see, because see, you're getting the full motion video on Pinnell Island that I filmed. I filmed that video on Pinnell Island of, off of St. Martin. Uh, you're getting that as a green screen backdrop. You're getting me as the person, you know, sitting in the chair. And just like, you know, your standard chroma key that I used in the past with software, now I'm doing it with this piece of hardware. That is so cool. And then right here, this stop. And this is something I may or may not use. Um, obviously live streams, at least at the time of filming this video, this device can do 1080p 60, which is incredible, but there's currently not a 4K option. But if you want to record your broadcast with the ATEM Mini Pro, you can you can format and then plug in like a little, you know, I've got a little cheap uh, 512 gig, uh, uh, 512, about a half terabyte SSD, USB SSD. I can plug that into the ATEM Mini Pro and, and it'll record my live show. So if you want to give a copy of your live show to somebody offline, it's boom, it's ready after the show concludes. This right here, and we'll go into it in more depth in other videos, but this is the, the mixer where you can see the audio levels. My primary mic obviously is connected to my, uh, to my Sony Alpha, which is camera one. Uh, camera two, as we mentioned, is, is my chroma key backdrop. Probably I'll keep audio off for that unless I want to have bird, bird noises or whatever in the background. Uh, camera three is currently not in use. And then again, camera four is my Apple TV, which I will use audio for that because that's my intros and my outros. So man, this is slick. Um, so I've got, I've got that over there. This section right here, again, <laughs> I've got room for uh, three devices. So I'm gonna do a camera three in the near future and I'm gonna have another tripod here and this is gonna be a sofa area. So it'll be a second set. So if I wanna move between green screen set, primary set and sofa set, while during, you know, while live streaming, I can do that. Uh, a few other things that I uh, wanted to point out, you know, I was telling you about my God Oxes. These are the God Oxes, and you can expand this video's description and click the link there to find where to order them online. But the God Oxes are super cool because you can put them in a group. And uh, this one right here is channel one. It's my key light. I'm using 100% at 5,500K. And actually, I'm using 100 and 100% brightness at 5500K on these. So I've got all 5500K color temperature. The brightness is the same. But if I wanted to group my two green screen lights in a separate group to, to control independently using the remote, I could. So that's just really cool. But I've got it nailed right here, man. I got 5500K color temperature. So, you know, when you're standing here, where if you're the camera, you know, that's what you're seeing right there. Basically, you're, you're seeing well, I mean, not exactly, but you get the point. So the camera doesn't see the lights. The camera just sees the consistently lit green screen, which then produces, you know, what you see over here on my, uh, 
on my program view. So that's how everything's stitched together. That green wall and you know that video that I'm continuously looping, that's creating this very pleasing video, a chroma key effect. And what's so awesome about this is that this device, again, the A10 Mini Pro, this is handling everything with YouTube. It's connected directly to my network, which this device, I enter the YouTube key after I set up the live show, and this handles it all. And, and again, I can switch, I can switch from, uh, from this device among the various cameras, all the different effects, turn mics on and off, how mics behave. In my case, the, the, well, I'm not using a shotgun mic, but I'll be using my wireless mic plugged into that. I want that mic to be my audio source regardless of which camera's filming. We currently only have one camera. So, you know, you can, you can make it to where it's always, uh, where that one camera's mic is always on regardless of which video source you're playing, whether it's uh, another camera or if I'm playing a video file from the computer, maybe I'm sharing a website link and I want to show my viewers. See, that's the beauty of camera two is that I can do that because camera two is just my, just think of it as my secondary laptop monitor. So check this out. Now within the ATEM software control, I can go to output. And you can see here from my desk, I can see that. But what if I just want to see one? So if I go to camera one, there I am without the green screen effect. And then if I want to go to camera two, see, that's just, that's my extended monitor. Um, so just think of that as a secondary monitor. That's the full screen version of, of my video file that's playing from this laptop. And then I can go to output. I can go to camera three which is not in use. Obviously, you'll see a blank screen. Uh, then I can go to camera four. Camera four is Apple TV. Don't have a video playing, just generic screensaver playing right now. And then I can also go, which we're already on multi-view, which shows everything. But what if I just want to see what the viewers see? If I go to program, see now, I'm in the green screen. So you can see me there. So see now, Hello, hello world, how y'all doing, how y'all doing? Welcome to another, see? So see, there I am. But see, then I wanna flip back and I wanna go to multi-view. You know, maybe I wanna look out of the corner of my eye and see, okay, uh, well, obviously it's off now because I'm not connected to, a, to an active live stream, but I can look at that out of the corner of my eye and say, okay, program is in the top right. That's what my YouTube viewers sh should be seeing. And then, uh, you know, is my YouTube stream healthy? Does it say okay? If I don't see okay there, if I see some numbers and stuff, I know it's starting to cache. And if that's the case, I need to make sure I don't have network congestion. You know, what, you know, what may be interfering with it? You know, I may need to lower the quality. My first test, man, with this thing, I was able to get maximum quality 1080p, 1080p 60 frames per second without a hiccup for multiple minutes. The most reliable tool that I've ever used to, uh, to live stream YouTube. So, I mean, I'm just thrilled with this. And, and again, there's so many buttons in here, but don't let this confuse you. If you're looking for ATEM Mini Pro, don't let this confuse you. I mean, I've got, I've got a somewhat uh, complex setup at the moment, but that's by design. But even with the complexity, the complexity and labeling everything and and creating that muscle memory of what to go, where where to go, when, is just going to make live streaming so effortless. And the best part is I don't have to pay a subscription fee to use this. I mean, yeah, the hardware is a little bit expensive, but now that I've got the hardware, now I don't have to deal with software. I mean, I just hardwire whatever I want into that uh, ATEM Mini Pro, and, uh, you know, and boom, just let it run my live streams. Now, something I'm working on at the time of filming this is identifying the best way to bring in guests. And I think what I'm gonna do is utilize my camera two. Obviously my camera two is my, is my second, just think of it as secondary monitor of this MacBook Pro. I'm gonna utilize camera two as a monitor and pull those, uh, you know, wh whatever video conferencing tool I use, if it's like a Skype or a, uh, you know, some sort of meeting bridge or whatever, whatever I choose to use, shouldn't matter because all that I'll do is put them, you know, bring in uh, uh, camera number two, which is my laptop's view, 
and just make sure the audio is on and we should be able to, you know, we should be able to rock and roll with that. So that's, that's the one thing at the time of filming this video, you know, bringing in live guests using the A10 Mini Pro hardware. Uh, that's one thing I haven't a hundred percent ironed out yet, but that is, that is on my to-do list, but I'm super excited about this. You know, again, I like to keep everything organized. I like to, uh, you know, make the workflow as simplistic as possible. And, and by doing this, especially these color matched lights, these Godoxes, I mean, all these things come into play to create the perfect live show. And, and, and the objective here is to have a live show that's easy for me to manage, whether I'm managing it from the software interface on my MacBook Pro or from the hardware interface that's underneath my camera. And I'm excited about this, as you might be able to tell. So again, check out my playlist, my ATEM Mini Pro playlist for all of my ATEM Mini Pro videos. This is just a quick overview of what the uh, of what the studio looks like with the ATEM Mini Pro. So I hope you enjoy the quality. Again, I always appreciate your feedback, your comments. And if you'd like to be a guest on upcoming live shows, just let me know. I'm always looking for guests. And again, at the time of filming this, I'm researching the best way to integrate live guests with, you know, using this new tool. Because I used a software tool in the, in the past called Wirecast, which was nice. But man, this is so much more powerful. Uh, thanks for your viewership. Be sure to subscribe and ring that bell icon when you do. And if you're looking for the ATEM Mini Pro or any of this, any other equipment like I use, expand this video's description and then click the link there. Thanks for your viewership and y'all have a good day. Hey y'all, Captain Irix Guy here. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. If you did, please be sure to subscribe. It's youtube.com forward slash Irix Guy. And ring that bell icon when you do to be notified whenever I post another video. Thanks for your viewership and y'all have a good day.